In the very first 30 seconds to a minute in the ice water is just pure pain. The hands go numb almost within the first two minutes and the feet follow. Face also goes numb. Your animal brain is saying, get out, get out, get out. But once you get beyond that and become numb, it's, it's a little easier. My name is Tom Heyerdahl and I've been ice swimming since 2018. I've just returned from the USA National Championships in Virginia, where I was the sole Canadian representative. The International Ice Swimmers Association defines cold water as below 10 degrees and ice water as below 5 degrees. Some people say, you know, there's always that moment where you question your life choices. But it's just that moment of, why am I doing this? And then you just say, I'm going to do this. This is what I do. I disrobe and I have my bathing suit already on. And then it's earplugs and cap, goggles. Then you get in and then very quickly for, for competition, you've got five seconds. You get down the ladder, you touch the backboard and you go. My first 25 to 50 meters is about calming that breath down and uh, trying to feel my stroke because there's a cold water response where you involuntarily suck in air and it's like this and you cannot prevent that from happening. Now, over time, you can mute that response, so it, there's very little of that response, but it's still there where you're breathing, your heart rate goes up, the blood gets restricted to your arms and legs. It's not something you just go into blind without knowing anything. One of the risks certainly is if you are to dive or jump in the water, that is completely something that people should not be doing. And so people that are trained to dip or to ice swim know right away that it's about lowering yourself into the water, keeping your head out of the water until that cold water response goes away. You've got to be well within your boundaries and know your limits. And learning those limits with people who have experience is very important. Whatever you carry into the water, and it tends to go away because of the intensity of the experience. And when you come out, it's like your mind is clear. And, and a lot of people uh, believe in cold water therapy, so to speak, for mental health issues, particularly depression. Uh, a few years ago, I was going through a difficult time with my mom who had Alzheimer's and uh, cold swimming really helped during those times that I was each time I was able to carve out, you know, half an hour to, to get cold and then come out and uh, I was able to go back and, and address the task at hand. So yeah, it's been a real benefit to my life.